In this video, I'm going to show you how to understand a stock chart when you're looking at it. So I have Apple pulled up in TradingView, which is a tool to look at stock charts, but there's lots of different tools to look at stock charts. You know, there's Google Finance, there's Yahoo Finance, uh, there's apps on your phone. Anywhere that you have a stock market app, there's probably stock charts with it. So I have Apple pulled up. That's just an example. There's a stock chart for every stock and every stock market index. Um, but this is a popular one, so I thought I would just use this as an example. So over here I have my list of stocks, and this is the symbol for Apple right here, AAPL. So that's the stock ticker. Sometimes you'll hear it referred to as a ticker. And you can see we're trading at, or we, we closed the day at $126.60. And that was down $4.41 from the previous day, or when it opened. And that was a 3.37% decline on the stock price. So what that means is Apple was trading at roughly $130 a share yesterday. And now after today's uh, market, we closed the day uh, down four dollars and forty one cents and now Apple is worth one hundred and twenty six dollars and sixty cents a share so it dropped in value by three point three seven percent and that is shown on the stock chart right here this very last red bar all of these other bars are individual days and these are called daily candlesticks I have the stock chart shown in what's called candlesticks. There's lots of different ways to represent a stock chart, but the industry consensus seems to be that candlesticks are the best way to view a stock chart because they provide more information than other ways. There are line graphs and mountains and other ways of representing a stock chart but with candlesticks you have at least four pieces of information just from one candlestick so I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more you can see today this candlestick was red that means Apple was down today it lost value you can see there's this really tall wick on the top of this candle that shows how high the price got in the middle of the day, at some point in the day. That's the highest point that the stock got. This little tiny wick at the bottom of the candle is how low the stock got at any point in the day, the lowest point of the day. The top of the wide part of the candle is where the stock opened the day. So when the stock market opened at 9.30 Eastern time in the morning, that's where it opened. In the bottom of the wide part of the candle is where it closed the day. So 4 p.m. Eastern, stock market closes. That is where the stock finished the day at $126.60. So you have four pieces of information there, and it's all based around the price of the stock. At what price did it open the day? At what price did it close the day? How high did it get at the very highest part of the day? And how low did it get at the very lowest part of the day? You have four pieces of information all in that one little candlestick right there. So candlesticks are a pretty great way to uh, look at stock charts. And you have all of these candlesticks and each one of them represents one day in the stock market. Uh, you can change that to represent different time frames. You can have candlesticks represent one hour per day in the, while the stock market is open or one week or one minute even or one year so you can change it if you want to zoom in zoom out things like that the axes that we're looking at in this picture is time and price right so when these candlesticks go up that shows us that the price of a stock is going up the value of that company is going up the value of your investment is going up when they go down, it tells us that the value of that investment, the value of that company is going down. And then this is over time, of course, right? These are all one day. So you can see down here, 
we go all the way back to August. And we're, we're currently in January right now and this goes all the way back to August and this is one day each. So you'll see that there are peaks and troughs on this stock chart. That is very typical of a stock chart. It's, it's common, it's extremely common. Um, this is how most stocks and stock markets uh, perform. They go up and they go down in these sort of waves uh, over time. In a general trend though, you'll see that even though there are ups and downs, if you look really closely, the general trend is up. Even though there's big swings up, big swings down, every time we swing, we swing a little bit higher up, right? Up, 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 up. So this is what's called a bull trend. So this is good for Apple. It, it shows us that the general trend is up. Even though there are these big swings, and some days and even weeks it may feel like Apple is just not doing very well, it keeps trickling down, the general trend seems to be up. That's how you can, that's one simple way of looking at a stock chart and analyzing what the trend is. If we uh, pull this time frame back even more, we can see that the general trend for Apple has been up, right? We got all of these little candlesticks representing one day each, and we're just going up, 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 right? We have these little waves, lots of up days. We have this wave down, big wave up, big wave down, and we just kind of wave back and forth with the general trend up. So that's what you want to see when you're investing in a company. You want to see it going from the bottom left corner of that stock chart to the top right corner of that stock chart. That is a good sign because that tells you that the value of that investment is going up. And if you're wondering what all of these little bars down here, that's volume on any given day. Some stock charts have this and some don't. I like to have it on my stock charts because it gives me a little bit more information. It tells me how powerful was that move? How many, how many shares of that company traded on that day? If it was a lot of shares and it was a big up day, then it means that it was even more powerful of a move and it suggests that that is the true direction that that stock should be going. That's a little bit of technical analysis there. That's not always true. Uh, but from a technical analysis standpoint, that is the implication that we get from these volume bars is that when there are very big volume bars, whichever direction the price went on that day, it suggests that that is the real direction that this, this stock is going in the long term. So that's all I got for this video. I wanted to keep it very simple, very short, very to the point. Uh, this is what a stock chart is. This is how you understand what you're looking at. You're looking at the price of a company going up and down over time. And if it's going up on the chart, then that is a good thing for the company. That means the value of the company is going up. And if you are invested in that company, then the value of your investment is going up. If it's going down, then that means the value of the company is going down and the value of your investment is going down. That's all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more videos like this. I also make videos of stock trading on my channel if that's something that you're interested in. Thanks everyone.